Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while. Here I'm back with this uh, CTE Blade uh, CTE Blade X, which is uh, something very similar to this one right here. Then I already make a video how to uh, take apart on the CTE C Max uh, Blade. Uh, the display on this one is 6 inch and on the other one is 5.5 HD display. Both of them uh, comes with the with the Type C uh, charger. Okay, we're gonna do today. Uh, we're gonna take uh, this one apart. I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, take it apart, or just in case you guys need to replace uh, battery uh, or the screen. The City Max Blade uh, comes with dual camera. The rear camera is uh, comes with two of them, and the CT uh, Blade X only comes with one single camera, uh, which is um, I think is a, a cheaper version. Of no more tucking. We're gonna put our hands on this uh, phone right now. We're gonna start by removing the back cover. Uh, something I noticed on these uh, CTEs then most likely always uh, they use the same pattern I mean not only the city every 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 brand use the same pattern uh, the way they manufacture the phone we're gonna just uh, use our ra razor blade um, to remove the back cover just doing what I'm doing right here it's a plastic back cover so it's not gonna give too much fight but um, we, we gotta be careful because I see it has a fingerprint sensor right here so it's gotta be a cable then we don't want to rip that cable we are almost there I'm gonna just start from the other side that would be the safest way as you guys can see this just came apart uh, and as the CT CMAX blade is very similar if you saw that video it's gonna be very very similar I, I, I could say I'm opening the same phone the way the screws are um, displayed and uh, this cable which is the fingerprint sensor it just remind me uh, of the other phone. It's just a smaller version. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and see if it's that true. I'm gonna remove all these screws. Ah, just remember, all the screws then add a different color. Please keep them separately. Don't confuse uh, the position of them because if you do so, uh, you might be. Uh, piercing the screen because they might be longer or shorter we don't know so just try to keep the screws uh, in the same order how they come from the factory okay now we have removed all the screws we're gonna go ahead and uh, deattach uh, this middle frame which is holding down uh, uh, this cable and also is protecting the uh, which is the motherboard. I'm gonna still use. Uh, I'm gonna keep using my razor blade uh, and very gently. I'm gonna just slide it in between the the screen and that frame. You can. You have to be very gently. You make sure don't. Uh, don't um, scratch that frame. Okay, uh, I forgot to remove the, uh, which is the SIM tray. Just gonna go with the razor blade all around. Pretty similar for what we did with the back cover. It's not a, it's not a big chain. So, gonna go all the way around. Like I told you, very gently be as professional 
as you can. I know it's your own phone, but one day it could be somebody else's phone. I feel like something is stuck in here, so let me just zoom in so I can show you what it, what is going on here. I feel like something stuck inside here. Let me just Oh wow, look at that. That's something new on this phone. That's something very new. We have a pentaloop screwdriver right here. I don't think it's as small as the iPhone. I'm gonna just try it. Um, to see. Wow, look at that. I used uh, the, the same one I used to remove the iPhone screws. I used the same one. Wow. That was something different. There you go. You see that tiny screw holding down this frame okay that was something new that we discovered on this phone and just uh, basically that's it and I'm gonna take this middle frame out of the way it comes out like that and as we can see we have right here the motherboard and the other components uh, this cable was is just attached with this clip right here we just lift it and it's gonna be released put it on the side and um, the bottom of the phone we have uh, the charging port which is the antenna always when you open this phone don't forget uh, to uh, connect this and this cable back if you don't do it uh, you're not gonna have any signal okay this cable right here uh, this other cable just uh, is the one that connects the bottom charging port to the motherboard side we have the uh, the microphone which is e e even right there tell you don't touch it but you know we're gonna go ahead and touch it <laughs> okay uh, if you wanna like do a charging port replaced on this one, just all you gotta do is um, disconnect these cables right here and use like a razor blade and you're gonna lift this little board then it's uh, on the bottom of the phone. It's really, really, really stacky there. So just gonna lift it like this and it's only glue. It's only hold down by glue as you guys can see that is the microphone that I'm talking about right here. all right um, to remove the motherboard it's all is only gonna be one screw right here and of course we have to remove these uh, little cables right here we have um, the power button, the volume button, it's only one single cable too. Uh, and also the battery. All we gotta do is lift uh, this metal plate and hold it down. And we're gonna expose the battery, uh, the, the cable that it comes from the charging port, and the digitizer, uh, I'm sorry, the LCD. That's gonna be the LCD. And we're gonna just lift this motherboard, which is the, just hold down but some clamps right here, as you guys can see. Let me try to do it from the top. And very gently just pull it. I wanna make sure I'm not ripping any cable off. I feel some something is like, okay. It's just a little bit of glue, not even much. I <laughs> think it's that tiny piece right there <laughs> okay so that's gonna be the motherboard we can see the front camera and the back camera and all the sensors right here so there we have the ear speaker 
and the loudspeaker and on the middle frame we got the, the vibrator and some other antenna connections and all the stuff so basically that's it on this phone as a different from uh, the other ones then we have open uh, I can tell you this only have one single cable one single cable for the um, for the LCD and digitizers very different from the uh, from uh, from the CT Max Pro and the CT Max uh, Blade. Okay, I'm gonna just very quickly remove uh, this battery just to show you. I'm gonna expose the cables that are uh, behind the battery. As you guys know, this CT always uh, kind of glue down the battery is really good so uh, we're gonna use a, our straight right here <laughs> we're gonna use our muscles there you go it's giving up it's giving up guys so just let me just pull it a little bit more and from here I can squish my fingers and boom just like that don't worry about this battery it's okay um yeah that's what i told you guys uh, as you guys can see right now they um this cable which is the lcd and digitizer one single cable for both of them so that's the big difference between the the old version and this uh like a smaller version of a ct max pro or i mean this ct blade x basically okay um there you go if you would like to replace the screen that's as far as you can go and from here you just have to remove the screen and install the new one so you can fill up this cable which is the uh, lcd connection um i'm gonna go ahead and put this back together so you guys can see this one still works after we just destroyed it okay Let's go. Okay, here we just have to uh, connect this uh, fingerprint um, sensor cable and just uh, the same way we open it, we're gonna close it down. We're just gonna push and press this until you heard the clips uh, attaching to the, to the front part of the phone. There we go. It was not, it's not a difficult repair on this phone. We can see it's uh, pretty similar to the other one we have done. Okay, everything is close, very nice. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and um, put that single screw, which is a little pantaloon screw. We're gonna use the, like, the same one you used uh, for the iPhone, bottom screws. I'm using the same one. There you go. I'm not gonna force it too much, but it's basically that set. Okay, now oh, I'm gonna just put back all the screws. Now we're just gonna close this down and we basically done. Just press it really hard, squish it, make sure everything is clipped on and the last part we're gonna put back the seat tray. Okay guys, 
there will be everything that will be all on this uh, How to Fix the CTE Blade X, which is a version made for Cricut. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you please help me out to get to a thousand subscribers, I will really, really appreciate it. I mean, the world to me. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, I hope I bring you another phone to fix and I hope this is help you something help you to save some money and thank you guys see you next time